here with head coach Jim Penders. Huskies drop this one one nothing as Mason Fioli career high 14 strikeouts. First though, coach, your, your junior captain Zach Susi, how's he doing? He's really sore. You know the catcher's interference. The kid got him right on the uh, on the pinky knuckle. And uh, we already got x-rays to thank you to Cincinnati for getting them in there really quickly. Um, they're negative, so that's a good thing. Neg negative x-rays means that's positive. So uh, we're, we're, uh, we're glad that it's not broken. And then we're just going to, day by day, he's going to be really sure. You know, I don't know if he's going to be able to go tomorrow. or We'll, we'll see you know, what tomorrow brings. But he was he was in some significant pain. And, uh, and you know, rightfully so, I think he was nervous about it. And uh, it was, uh, his hand was shaking. And he, couldn't, he couldn't compete after that. He, he bravely went back there and finished the inning. But um, we're just glad there's no fracture. And hopefully we can get him out soon. On the field, Mason was great tonight. 14 strikeouts. JT Perez was awesome as well. An hour and 50 minutes. It was just a classic pitcher's duel between two of the fastest workers. Yeah, I mean, you know, two lefties that like to work quickly. And, and they were both in really good rhythm. And uh, baseball purist is going to love that ball game. And uh, we just, you know, the difference is one swing at a bat. And, we, you know, I don't think I've ever seen two hit, two hit and runs go for double plays. You know, it, just, it was one of those nights nothing was going to go our way offensively, and and a lot of that had to do with JT Perez. He did a, he did a fantastic job. He was getting a low strike. Uh, he was showing that he could repeat it and keep throwing it there, and we couldn't do much with it. You know, the first cup, the first inning was our best opportunity, and we didn't quite cash in. And then we got a, another runner in scoring position, I think, in the fifth or sixth, and, and um, you know, he got Prado. You know, I'd love to see him up there, but he just he had a little something extra tonight on the on the mound. Our guy was sensational. The thing that I, you know, loved most about Mason Field, obviously the 14 strikeouts are easy for anyone to see, but after Kenny Bergman, you know, Kenny's going in there in a you know emergency situation and doing the best he can, and he did a pretty good job with him. Uh, a ball gets away from him on strike three on a great pitch from Mason. Kid gets to first base, and then Kenny Kenny throws him out to end the inning. Um, you know, and nobody in our dugout or on our field was more excited for Kenny than Mason Field. And that shows you what a leader he is on Friday nights. It's really fun to watch him compete on Fridays. He sets the tone so beautifully and cares so deeply about his teammates. It's, it's, uh, he's a lot of fun to watch. What do you like to see tomorrow to try and bounce back? Well, you know, I mean, we just got to swing the bats a little bit better. I mean, I, I don't think it could be much worse. We, 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 um, we had a good scouting report on Perez. You know, we, we got to him early last year and then uh, he settled in and we had a chance to get to him early tonight, and we didn't do it. And, uh, and he certainly settled in. So uh, we were talking about cutting the field in half and trying to go the opposite field and sitting on soft. And uh, with the exception of really, I think in the first inning, I mean, Topa hit a ball to the middle of the field hard, and, and Susie hit one for the error on Rodriguez. We couldn't cash in there, but there wasn't a lot of hard contact to the opposite field at all. Uh, a lot of weak rollovers, a lot of big swings. You know, it looked like. Uh, uh, either we couldn't make the adjustments uh, or we, we didn't do a good job following scouting report. Uh, only those guys know who are swinging the bats. But uh, the guys, I, I, I expect them to bounce back. Hey, we scored. How often do you see it? Right? We had a big scoring game on, uh, on Wednesday at Lowell and won nothing. It's, it's, almost, it's like it's, it's baseball. And so tomorrow I have a feeling we'll be one nothing. And uh, we just got to come out and swing the bats better. And I like the way that. Uh, that we competed with the gloves and certainly the way that we pitched. Just got to get this, get the, uh, you know, get a little offense going tomorrow against this very, you know, first place team and, and they're, they're tough to play. It's always a scuffle here, no matter uh, what the records are. It's always going to be uh, a scuffle, and uh, and they showed that today. Thanks, coach. Thanks, Chris.